Hello everyone, Jeff with The Green Review here. This is duckweed. Duckweeds are very small, floating, perennial plants that are found worldwide. There are about 20 species in three genera. In most species, each plant has a very short stem to non-existent stem. In the genus Lemna, there is usually one leaf and one root. In the genus Spiradella, there are three leaves that are green on top and have red on the bottom, and they have multiple roots. In the Wolfia genus, there are just individual leaves that are the size of a grain of sand, and they have no roots. The plants in the Wolfia genus are often called water meal, as they have the general appearance of cornmeal. All of the species occasionally have flowers, making them the world's smallest flowering plants. And of course, they also produce the world's smallest fruit. Duckweed sprout new plants that break off the original plant in just a day or two, making them very fast growers. They can double the size of a colony every few days. They get into ponds when people bring in new plants that have them stuck on the pots, or on ducks or other aquatic animals that move from one pond to another. In the fall, duckweed plants produce vegetative buds called turions that sink to the bottom of the pond for the winter. The turions float back to the surface in the spring. There are many good general points about duckweed that may not apply to every individual pond. For instance, duckweed can be used to treat municipal wastewater. It can be used on farms to treat manure ponds from chicken waste or mammal waste. The duckweeds can then be used as cattle feed or to feed tilapia. The dried duckweed can be used as a biofuel with higher output and less input from, than corn used as a biofuel. If harvested out of the water, Duckweed can purify water by removing or lowering the nitrate and phosphate levels. Unless you have a wastewater or polluted farm pond, that information may not be helpful. Duckweed colonies provide shelter for many aquatic animals, including small fish, frogs, turtles, and crayfish. The plants grow close enough to prevent mosquitoes from laying eggs, thus preventing many deadly diseases like malaria, yellow fever, West Nile virus, and Zika virus. Duckweed on the surface of the pond can prevent algae that causes bad tasting water. It also reduces water evaporation out of ponds, helping to conserve water. Researchers have found that genetically modified duckweeds can produce insulin and other valuable chemicals, and since they're immune to animal viruses, they may be able to produce new biomedicines. In third world countries, duckweed has been used as a medicine, but no reliable information is available on how well it works. Some species of duckweeds in some types of water contain a lot of calcium oxalate, which can lead to kidney stones. So even though duckweed from clean water sources is edible by humans and has more protein than soybeans, you should be careful if you want to eat it. Again, all good points, but they may not be useful for your pond. Now the bad side of the duckweed ledger is that the duckweed covers the surface of a pond to block gas exchange with the atmosphere. This can cause problems for fish and other aquatic animals that need oxygen in the water. But the primary reason people don't like duckweed is that they mistakenly think it's algae and they don't like the looks of it floating on the pond. So how do you control duckweed? On a small backyard pond, repeated netting can keep duckweed under control. You can use a drop of dish soap to help move the plants along. Bacterial products added to pond filtration systems can compete with duckweed for nutrients and they may keep duckweed under control. Water garden and koi ponds with skimmers as part of the filtration system can filter out a lot of duckweed. On larger farm ponds, homemade skimmers and water hoses can push the duckweed along to an outlet point. Aquatic herbicides can be used with care to follow the label directions. Duckweed consumes a lot of nutrients. If it dies in the pond, it releases the nutrients back into the water. Decay organisms feasting on the dead duckweed use oxygen and can reduce the oxygen level in the pond below the level needed for fish and other animals. Any remaining duckweed will also consume the nutrients and regrow quickly. Some species of fish like tilapia, grass carp, and koi consume duckweed, but may not be able to keep it under control because it grows so fast and there's not enough fish in the pond. And tilapia don't live in ponds that are below 55 degrees. The same holds true with some kinds of ducks that eat duckweed. They just may not be able to keep up. Just like any other unwanted weed plant, you'll most likely need to use several of these methods to control 
the duckweed in your pond. And this is Jeff with a Greener View. Thanks for watching.